Welcome back guys. I just got back from a test drive in a 1979 Camaro. Got it up here at Maple Motors. You can check us out, maplemotors.com. Got all kinds of information on there for uh, financing, shipping, wheels, tires, parts, accessories. We just updated with 10 new cars this week. This is one of them. Like I said, I was on the interstate with this one. Drove it around quite a bit. What I'm gonna do now is walk around, tell you it's got a 350 in it, just decoded the motor. AC compressor's there, locked up. Oh, it was locked up, now it's free spinning. There's no belt on it, that's for, uh, for a reason. It's probably gonna need a compressor. But, car does run and drive very good. It's got a nice cam in it. And I think you'll like that test drive video. What I'm gonna do is start up here in the front, if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button. I try to post videos every single day. And I'm gonna pick any flaws out that I see. This car actually has a decent paint job on it. There is some chips just like this right here in the front end. There's another one right there at the nose. Spot where you put your tag. I like the orange accents, the stripes. A lot of little wax spots left over down in the crevices. Spot on top of the fender there with the clear coats. Spider web. I will be putting the hood down before the end of the video. And I'll also get up under it and kind of show you uh, all around the other side of the car. Looks like they put new mirrors on it. They painted a lot of the trim in the front and the back. Uh, they left it around the windows though. It still looks good. Windshield's in good shape. Another one of those spots in the clear coat. There's a few of them on here, actually. Paint's got a good shine. Little spot there. I'm gonna go ahead and get back over here. I wanna look at the bottom of the doors, the bottom of the car. If I see any rust bubbles or anything coming through, you will know about it. Tires on this thing are great. They look pretty good. I went ahead and opened the trunk and the hood just so I don't have to flip the camera around in the video. Looks like a little bit of moisture getting on the inside of the glass here. The seal might be bad. Uh, a couple little spots on the trunk. That's definitely a rust spot coming through. And they painted the trim on the back window as well. A couple little bumps in the rear bump. It's a bumpy bumper. <laughs> Chipping the paint there. The trunk has some leaks. Looks like a little water's getting in here. And the weather stripping looks good. So it could either be coming through right there at that back window. Probably is since it got into the package tray there. Back window's gonna need a seal. Always check up high right there. Make sure there's no rust. It actually looks pretty solid. A couple wall snaps up in here. Look at that. You get onto my detail guy. How did he not see those? All right guys, I'm gonna pull these things out get rid of them. I don't like looking at him. Get him to vacuum on that. Come on now. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the trunk lid. Shuts nicely. Well, it looks pretty good. It lines up nice. bottom of these doors too pretty solid over there went all the way down there's a spot right here common area to have rust come through and it is or chip on the inside of the door run down the main part of the door make sure nobody bumped their door into it 
do have some scratch marks on the windshield and that's kind of deep right there man i don't even the windshield wiper must have been straight metal on that Like I said, when I end the video, I'm gonna shut the hood and we'll check it over as well. And then I'm gonna crawl up under the car, kind of get some undercarriage shots. For now, I'm gonna open the door. You can see that door handle's actually got a crack in it. Ladybugs, I've been finding ladybugs all over the lot. They're coming out. It's good luck, right? Weather stripping doesn't look too bad. Check the bottom of the door here. Looks like a little spot there. Most part, it looks pretty good. The dash does not look bad in this car. The seat's got some spots in them, though. Right in that corner. Uh, your seatbelt brag is broke. You see, it's just hanging off here. Back seat itself looks good. Package tray doesn't look too bad. A little sun damaged. Worst part about this interior would be the headliner. It looks kind of raggedy. All right, we're gonna jump in here. Kind of look around, console. That's gonna need to be replaced, that piece. It broke three spots on there. Uh, aftermarket gauges, they do seem to work pretty good. The voltmeter's not hooked up. On the dash, the RPMs come up and the Speedo works. It is showing 32,000 miles. I cannot stand behind that. Uh, motors, gauges, all that could be swapped out. We're going to try to start it up without giving her any gas. She may have been a little bit flooded, but it started up without me having to touch the gas pedal. The blinker does cut on on this side. It's very dim. This side, it doesn't flash, but I think the contact's going bad because every once in a while, there it goes, it starts clicking windshield wiper wise does work they got new ones on there guess they learned after they scratched the window they need some good wipers couldn't get the radio to cut on can't really get it to do nothing so we're gonna say that's not working heat wise yeah well, yeah we got heat we don't have ac but you cut this on it blows a little bit uh i ain't gonna cut it all the way up i think one of the settings works starts blowing uh hot air it's actually coming from the floor all right, horn does not work. Your gauge is down here. Oil pressure's right at right below 40. Uh, engine temp is a little over 180, about 190. like it's on startup. Motor-wise, seems nice and quiet. You do got a little bit of a valve cover leak. You can see it leaking right there on top. coming out of this oil's been coming out leaking on top main reason it's doing that i got on the interstate during the test drive and it pushed a little bit out of that cap so you know wiggle your hood you don't want to bend it there we go all right Hinges are sitting a little high. You can push them back down. This side's not too bad.
I'm gonna peek up under the front and then we're gonna work around the sides. I'm gonna start up here in the front. I'll go driver's side, rear and passenger side and we'll conclude this video. guys i appreciate y'all watching i do have more detailed photos at maplemotors.com you can get all up under the car anything that they see that i missed will be on there as well please check that out if you don't mind hit that subscribe button we did a test drive i mentioned that a few times definitely check it out if you're interested in the car and please don't forget that's maplemotors.com so go there before you give us a call that way you can get all the information gathered up I appreciate you watching, and thanks again, guys.